So here is Gunsmoke on NES, and I have two cartridges, uh, each with a different label, uh, different artwork. I wonder why they did that. I'm not sure why they did that. I think this is a situation where mm -hmm. it's just they have different labels. I don't think the games are different. Not no. like the Indiana Jones game where it's actually a different game. No, but I almost just wonder why they have to change the artwork. Like, what was wrong with one of them? <laughs> Isn't that strange? I'm not sure. Maybe yeah. they're, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know, but let's yeah. give the game a shot. Mm -hmm. All right, Gunsmoke. I guess we should see the, the title or the it intro. It was a good uh, intro, yeah. In America. The year was 1849 in a small town called Hicksville, <laughs> where the pioneers worked hard. During the Gold Rush era, one day a group of outlaws known as the Wing The Wingates into came into town and killed the sheriff and took over the town. And then Pico's Bill came in. <laughs> they have to call it Hicksville, really? Hicksville. I can't believe they actually said that. Yeah. In the windy afternoon, <laughs> <laughs> With the sunset behind them to save the town, we went and we had supper, <laughs> and it was a great old time, I reckon. Game is one player, so we'll be switching back and forth is it in, weird in the town of Hicksville. Is it weird how it's gun dot smoke? Oh yeah, gun, gun smoke. What was the show? Well, well, why is there a dot in the middle is what I'm saying. Um. <laughs> Why is it gun dot smoke instead of just gun smoke it, it or was, like it, it gun was, space smoke? It was a show, James. Did the show have a dot in the middle? And, well, and, it was, if it, and if it did, the question remains: Why? It was. It was a show. <laughs> no. That explains why there's yeah, a dot. I have no. I have no idea. <laughs> so I got the double shot already, which is good, and I got a pair of boots. Yeah. Wait. Was it? Was it James? Hey, you know what? You know what to say. Big yeah. feet. Big boots. <laughs> I'm a big uh, Cowboy Curtis fan. Yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. Sorry, we were already talking about uh, looked at yesterday. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, I don't know. I was just thinking about. I remember that after the Twilight Zone, there was an ad that would say like, um, an ad for Gunsmoke. This is James right? Arness. You know, it's only a short hop from the Twilight Zone to Dodge City and Gunsmoke. Saturday night on most of these networks. We are on your side. Gunshot. Well, I only have five thousand, so I can't afford anything right now. But we'll have to get something mm -hmm. later. Now, the first thing I have to mention is why is this only one player? There's plenty of games with the same exact, um, you know, gameplay style, and most of them are two players. So we why made would... arcade version of it was two players, and that, I would say, the reason most likely was probably limitations of the of the console. Well, well what I'm saying is, there's other, like, we, we could play Legendary Wings, and that's two players, right? Yes. Like, why? Why would? Um... I'm saying that maybe for this game, there was so much going on that maybe it caused too much slowdown. Whereas other games, maybe it was like okay. I don't know. It's probably like a design thing. That's my. Even, I could be wrong, but that's my e only guess. Yeah, I don't know. E even Akari Warriors was two players, which it probably shouldn't have been because the game's so <laughs> fucking slow and flawed. That's maybe, maybe a, a, actually a great one to bring up because be, yeah. that game's so fucked that it probably should have <laughs> been one players. Because you know how that game's like super oh, slow yeah. and like and, well glitchy and yeah. glitchy and yeah yeah, yeah so. Maybe. Maybe they should have taken the gun smoke. What other examples? But but what other examples can you think of off the top of your head? Because of I'm sure that there are there are two player games like this. Yeah. Jackal. Oh yeah um, yeah sure. Like things that are more complicated that run fine. Are you saying that Konami could do what Capcom couldn't? Ooh maybe. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. We're not sure. But that, that's just well, wait. The guess. Capcom did Legendary Wings. Capcom get, did this game. Yeah, but they they did Legendary Wings also, so that one was two players, and that right, you know. What, well, what I was trying to say is maybe this game has more stuff going on in it than Legendary Wings. I don't know. I, I'm not a game yeah, designer. I, know, I don't I know. know. I don't know what the. We're trying. We're just speculating. Yeah. But, I, but it's like I, I I just find it doubtful that like Legendary Wings looks crazier than this. I think maybe, maybe it was a time issue. Maybe they ran out of time and they needed Could've to get been. the game released for holidays or something and maybe. and they didn't have time to make it yeah. two players. I don't know. It's the same question as uh, Final Final Fight um, was why was the first game one player and the rest were two players? Right. Probably, yeah. The only thing that makes sense is time because right. it was a launch title. I think it was a launch title. They had to get it out and maybe they just didn't have time to add the second player. It's possible. Yeah. Pow. I love when you get power. Look how brown you're... the screen is. It's like the whole screen is just dirt. Watch this. As soon as that fence... Oh, no. <laughs> it was like almost completely just the same pattern. 
They call it horse manure. Mm -hmm. The whole town is just yeah. a big pile of shit. <laughs> um, so machine gun, magnum. Um, what do you think? Let's get magnum. See what that does. So this is is basically it's just a 2D shooter. There's nothing you do except shoot. Um, like I feel like with a lot of these games, I think, I think Action 52 ruins the 2D shooter for me because it's just like so many of them. Um, but I mean, they're, they're except they all suck. Yeah, this they, is like good. That's what I mean. They they yeah. all suck. They ruined it. But I see so many of these where you could just replace the the, the cowboy with a spaceship. Sure. And just it's the same exact thing. Well, I was gonna say yeah, mm -hmm. you and I played like Life Force and mm -hmm. and like the the. The, the ones the that top, move the top left down, right. yeah. even the top-down versions of like mm -hmm. Super Contra. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a ver like a vertical shoot shooter uh -huh. at that point. Yeah, yeah. Genre fatigue, you're feeling? Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess so. Horse? I don't have the money for a horse. I ain't got the money <laughs> to buy no horse today. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I I think what it is with with genres, it's like it. If you love the genre a lot, then it's like you're not gonna get bored of it. You, like sometimes you can't get enough, but yeah, certain things it's like I had enough of. Like I had enough of these type of games. Okay. I think that's what it is. So you don't want to play like Super C anymore? Um. Well, Super C, it, it it changes it up so much. It never becomes all that. Right. And also this when it does that, it's just really good. Like it's it's the smoothest control. Um, possible in a like a top-down view like this. I have to say that this game is super smooth and mm -hmm. well controlling. Actually, um, I don't know that the, this ever changes uh, viewpoints. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it goes side scrolling. I'm not. I don't. I don't feel like it probably doesn't. Uh huh. But um, but the controls on this yeah. are actually really good. Whereas like we used the example earlier, Akari <laughs> Warriors feels like shit as you're oh, playing yeah, it. Yeah. You have to like walk in a circle to turn around or anything. Yeah. A lot, something that differentiates some of these is that there's ones where the screen is moving by itself, like this one. Yeah. Like it, you know, it's gonna keep moving. There's others like like in Super C, you have to walk to make it move. In Akari Wars, you have to walk to make it move. Um, so do you do you like it when it does that? Like when, I don't in, know. in Super Mario Brothers Three, when it does those yeah. stages where like all, the screen like auto scrolls, I would never really like that. <laughs> I always like like yeah. controlling the screen myself. Me too. Yeah. Um, usually, um, it dep It really depends on the game. Um, I, I, but I, I I basically like what Super C did. I think it's just perfection. All right. It looks like I I'm, I might be on the boss here. Mm -hmm. So it seems like there is bosses. Because it's because the screen stops scrolling. Yeah. And it does have a life meter, which I always complain uh, about. Yeah. Uh, doesn't seem like, I guess he's like ducking under your shot. Yeah, there he stands go. up and then you can get him. Yeah. Can you, you can't, uh, you're on my like I got him, yeah. Yeah. You're up. All right. You're up, partner. Mm -hmm. Saddle up, lock and load. <laughs> it's a Bobo. Oh my God. It looks just like a Bobo. Ah, Bobo. But Double Dragon is Technos, isn't it? Te or, Tecmo? Uh, well, Technos did, like, Ninja Gaiden. Tecmo did, like, Tecmo Bowl. Wait, there's a Techno and a Tecmo? Yeah. Really? There's tec yeah, there's Tecmo, like, Tecmo Bowl. Yeah. And then there's Technos. Well, I only knew Tecmo. Well, tec no, you definitely know Tecmos, because, like, um, like, Ninja Gaiden. You've seen it a million times, I'm sure. Let me show you. Pause real quick. No, okay, these are Tecmos. Okay, there it, it's not Ninja Gaiden then. So that's Tecmo. Where's my? What was? Well, the question was Double Dragon, right? Like, so it was. You have that? It says like tech, Technos Japan developed. They're a developer. Mm -hmm. Double okay. Dragon Two developed by. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Here it is. It says it right here. So yeah. Double Dragon Two published mm -hmm. by Acclaim. Mm -hmm. Developed by Technos Japan. Okay. So I'm so I'm right. So they're like yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm not saying you're not yeah. right. I'm just saying like what's the other thing that I seen because. Because you look at the game and it says, you know, Trade West, or it says Acclaim. Yeah. But then Technos is the one who, like, made it or yes. something. But it, I, I just never remember seeing the name anywhere on the game. So where, I guess so that's where... Why, that's why I never heard of it. I guess where it's really confusing is, I guess... Because there's also Tecmo. I, I, I guess for Ninja Gaiden, mm -hmm. I suppose Tecmo distributed it, so it says right here. Yeah. But I think Technos mm -hmm. 
developed yeah. it. Yeah. Isn't that weird? And how do you use the... It, does it just upgrade it? You or? hit select and then you... And then switch it. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah. So I want to use some good stuff. Yeah. Right? There you go. Fire fast. There you go. Fuck them up. Oh, you picked that up? I guess so. I, don't know you do. I hope you don't explode. Yeah. Um. That's a machine gun. The guns all look about the same. I can tell. No, that, one's that one's different. It's more rapid. They're, they're a little hard to tell the difference. I like the machine gun. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I wonder if it lasts forever. They all have this, like, that two, you know, like, where you're shooting with two hands. Yeah. Like, none of them are, like, different, I, um... I got something earlier in the game, so uh -huh. if you die, it'll probably go back to one hand. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's look at that! Cool. Nice! Spread! What is that? Shotgun, yeah. Back oh. up. Got some... Here comes the boss. Let me try the... Oh. Not working. Switch to something else, quick. Boomerangs? Why does he have boomerangs? I don't know, he's fucking crazy, though. Doesn't fit almost got him, almost got him. Well, they gotta do something different for the bosses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine watching, um, one of the Sergio Leone movies, and then all of a sudden somebody comes out boomerangs? That would be awesome, yeah. though. Well, I, I always thought maybe it was a little out of place with the, um, that Bruce Lee movie where at the end he's got, like, the claw. Oh, yeah, you know what? I mean, in a way it's out of place. It's kind of like... Because you expect more like a samurai sword or, like... Yeah. I should, I should say that. You expect more like a katana blade or um, uh, some type of weapon like that, like the Ninja Turtles would have, but not, like, a claw like that. I don't know, I, th I thought yeah. that was a little out of place. It was a little bit like... But uh, I thought it was awesome, though. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I think it was just that uh, nobody had seen anybody do that before. It was just this, like, a, it's a super villain type of thing. It's just... Oh, is that death? He's gonna, yeah. He's just gonna take his hand off and put, like, a blade on it. Like, right. it's just kind of, like... It was awesome. It, yeah, it definitely took the movie to a little bit of, like, a, a non-realistic kind of way. Like, yeah. like the, the movie is almost realistic, um, but then something like that happens, and it's like, okay, well, it, it, sure, it could still happen in real life, but... Is that, like, where they got not... Shredder from? Oh, I'm sure that Shredder was probably a combination of, like, all kinds of, um... Right. Know, villains. Probably even had, a, like, a little bit of Darth Vader in him. Darth Vader himself was based on Samurai. Like, it was... I thought you were gonna helmet. say Darth Vader was based on Shredder. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, you know, the helmet, the shape of Darth Vader's helmet is, uh... Is like a samurai. Oh, helmet. sure, yeah, yeah, that's true. And I mean, the Jedi are basically samurai. Like, there's no plural. Like, it's just multiple Jedi are just Jedi. Are you excited? Samurai. Are you excited for um, episode eight? No. And you know, you know why? Not at all. Uh, uh, well, here's the thing. I don't. I'm just. I'm just not letting myself get excited. I just okay. want to go in and. Um, uh, because I, I feel this Go one... Go in with that hype. Yeah, because I feel this one has the opportunity to, to do something really new and do something really good. Yeah. Um, and I'm... I'm I just want to just keep an empty slate and, and just not go think about like, it. Did you watch yeah. the trailer at all? Uh, well, the trailer doesn't show much, which is good. It's a you know it's a good thing. It doesn't give a lot away. Um, it's it, there's only one so far, right? Yeah, as far as I know, there's only one right yeah. now. Yeah. By the way, so I have fifty thousand that I could spend, I believe. And it's this thing costs fifty thousand. Should I get it? What does the wanted poster do? Does that mean I can get uh, by the end boss without I, having to fight him? I would do it just to find out. It's I just the, I it's the only it. okay because it's the only way we're gonna know. Yeah, let's say. But it takes your score down, which is interesting. Oh, so your score is basically the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the less stuff that you use, yeah, the big, better score you'll get. So actually, you want to really be playing this game without using a lot of stuff because it's making the game easier but i mean do you know do you know what i mean like if you want to get a higher score don't use the stuff maybe that's what it is it's like it's it's a um that's actually really interesting i haven't seen a game yeah. do that it's an it's an achievement it's just like hey look yeah you know, yeah that's actually kind of cool yeah it is I know what you're saying, like, earlier about, like, th this is, like, one one of a million games that are yeah. like this, but I, I don't know. It, this is a good one of those games. Mm -hmm. At least it doesn't suck. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, just the word is basic. It's just, like, right. very, um, you can tell it was made early on. I, I'm, 
I'd like to know when, but it probably I was. feel like this was like this must have been like one of the real early NES titles because it probably was. Yeah, there, there isn't there aren't many sound effects. It's like what we were talking about with Wrecking Crew. It's kind of like it just came off of the Atari age. Um, it That's has a true. Lot of, That's a black box. That's definitely true. With yeah, that. it's a very classic arcade type of feel to it. You can um, kind of tell with the graphics too. Like you can tell by looking yeah, at graphics yeah. when like what era of NES game it was uh, a lot of times. When it's just brown and green all the time. <laughs> brown and green. <that's laughs> Not only that, but like the shapes of, yeah. of the. I must feel like they yeah. had a different like pixel they, maker of program or something. Yeah, it does look like that. You can tell like those guys look like. Um, they they actually kind of look like the guy. I mean, we're just talking about Double Dragon, so like. That, that example, like they do look kind of like those. it's actually a good example, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a little bit of River City Ransom kind of look. Mm -hmm. I just imagine this whole town smelling like shit because it's just yeah. all manure you're walking around. <laughs> Why can't it just be dirt? I guess it could be, <laughs> but well, I don't know. The old, the old West Hicksville, there's probably a lot of horses taking dumps mm -hmm. everywhere. I mean, what are all those little uh -huh. pellets all over the place? Uh. Oh, you know what's weird? When it stops moving. To me, it looks like it's still moving for a bit because my eyes are, are like trying to uh, adjust. You know That's what I mean? weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it stops. Yeah, because I'm so fixated on it and it's moving and then just. Ugh. It's good that we're switching off because. Oh, fuck. Hmm. That guy just popped out of the side of the screen. I didn't expect that. I think that's the first time he died. Yeah. This is way easier with this weapon. Hmm. There we go. All right. So the one thing, did we ever figure out what that did? I have no idea what that did. <laughs> is, it, is it in your inventory? I think I also picked one up as I was walking oh, really? as well. So I don't know. Not, ah! Yeah. Well, I haven't had a Zelda reference yet, so I guess I should start now. Here, your turn. Um, this time the game did it for you. Right, yeah. I, nice I'm game. gonna guess that this may have been before Zelda. We have to check I kinda, on that. I kind of doubt, and I, I'd like to know. Yeah. Actually. So Gunsmoke yeah. actually did come out before the arcade, at least, right? Um, yeah, came out before. I, I wonder if the arcade version says Death Mountain as well. Yeah. So we don't know when this came out. Death Mountain is such a generic it is. name, though. So it's kind of like. Mhm. Mm and by the way, it all comes Lord, from Lord, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, Lord of the Rings, which, but I mean, which wasn't Death Mountain, but it was. Yeah, close enough. Mordor. <laughs> Well, Mount Doom. Mount Doom, there we go. And Mordor is what, like the region that the mound's in? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. So you can now have uh, less screen to work with, so it's getting, you know, tricky. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. Yeah. It's almost like uh, Paperboy, right? Where they take away yeah, <laughs> half yeah. the screen. Exactly. Not that bad, though. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not an ice. And it's not even thing. a bad thing, it's just a challenge. It's not like it's. Problem. You're saying in this game it's not a problem, or in Paperboy it's not a problem? In this game it's not a problem. Okay. In Paperboy it, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say, I thought you had a problem with that. <laughs> yeah. There ninjas. you go. Gunning down ninjas in the old west. <laughs> no! Oh! Fuck. Yeah, I think when you, I guess when you die they take away some of your stuff. I bet the arcade is so much better. <laughs> well, when is it not? <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining what it would be like. Well, we could play it. Yeah. I would like to do Arcade Sunset Riders, and mm -hmm. and then Super Nintendo Sunset Riders, and then Genesis Sunset Riders, because uh, they're all like a little different. See, you know what's making it really hard is that these guys are coming out the bottom, yeah. and you can't shoot down, so... You're, you're gonna have to stay in the middle. Oh yeah, you can't yeah. shoot down, that's true. So there you go. That's something Super C you could do, is shoot down. Yeah, true. Not only did they add in a mountain that takes away half the screen, but then the enemies are coming from the bottom. You can't yeah. shoot down. It's I really don't like when they shoot down. Yeah, I hate when they come out the bottom. That's that's really pissing me off, actually. It'd be all right if you could shoot down, but you can't. So yeah, <laughs> maybe there's a weapon where you can. Yeah, maybe. And that smart bomb will never know. It doesn't work. Look at this. I'm like trapped at the top without. That's crazy. Being able to shoot. Oh, what do I do? Look. Well, I can't turn my back on the oncoming foes. That would be just not polite. <laughs> Did your mama never teach you not to turn your back on nobody? <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. He's turning his back. 
And they're coming up yeah, to but, shoot him in the but back. But he doesn't know that there's people behind him. He's just dumb. So he's not gonna, he only knows Oh, he's talking about the guys up there. Yeah. He's like, okay. He only knows that there's people coming, so he's yeah. not gonna turn his back on the people coming, because that would be impolite. Uh, impolite? Yeah, because like, you know, like the cowboys are always like, have to be polite. Didn't your mama never teach you no manners? <laughs> That's my only reasoning. <laughs> they're trying to keep it in character <laughs> by having him not turn his back. <laughs> It's like the old, the old um, Adam West Batman used to be I'm like done. overly polite like that. Um, oh yeah. Remember how like polite Batman was in like he, the he 60s Batman? The parking meter. I think that was because you know cowboy stuff was so popular at the time, and cowboys were always supposed to be so like law abiding and always did like everything properly, you know, by the book. Yeah, be a you good know, citizen. Be a good citizen. But I don't know, like, because I, I don't see it that way. I see it more like this was like the lawless um, era. It was just like. True. You know, everybody's running around and shooting uh, well, each other, and like it's not in real in real life, I guess. But like yeah. in the on like corny TV shows that were depicting what you know the uh, old West was yeah. like, it was that's what they did. Hmm. You know, I guess because I they were trying to make heroes out of uh -huh. these cowboys, Roy Rogers and Gene yeah. Autry and Hopalong Cassidy. They were trying to make them like mm -hmm. good. Uh, examples yeah. for children to live up to. I can't say I've seen too many of them, but I, I always picture them as being like sketchy, but maybe that came later. Like, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, everybody's a bad guy in the movie, well, basically. We, well, that's, um, that's when they made that's like... That's when the, they got cool. Like, yeah, the, exactly, yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause in order for them to be like uh, <laughs> an awesome, um, it's, you know, exactly. character, they have to be... Like Harrison Ford as yes. Han Solo. Which right. He's modeled after that type of character. And that's why that whole Greedo shot first thing became such a big debate. Well, that's, that's why Clint Eastwood... The character to be, like, the whole idea is they, they shoot first because they're, they're, they're all crooked in their own ways. Like, you know, Han Solo, there's, he's like a gambler, he's a swindler, he's like... He's not a good guy, and that, that's what makes it interesting. I think that's why John Wayne was so mm -hmm. popular, because he was, like, a more realistic cowboy. Whereas, um, whereas prior to that, like, uh, like Roy Rogers movie, and shit was like, like yippee ki yippee ki <laughs> do my dance, you know, whatever. <laughs> but which which John Wayne movies? Because he was in so many that it probably like. I just like you know, in general. I think I think people viewed him as a little bit more like realistic and badass so. than like the, than like the Hopalong Cassidy type. And also, and then and then uh, I guess shortly after that, Clint Eastwood. He, yeah, and he was well, more—he was more realistic. Well, John Wayne was making movies like from like, geez, like the '30s through like the '60s or '70s, maybe. Like I don't know. I mean, like I, I think of Stagecoach, like that's one of the early ones. And then there's like uh, the well, Searchers, which was the may '50s. Maybe John then, Wayne's not the best example. Yeah, then El Dorado, that was like the '60s, I think. But I mean, I mean, it probably is a good example. It's just it's just figuring out which movies exactly. Right. Um, I might be talking certain movies over, like maybe he did, yeah. he did, like maybe his later ones were more like gritty and his early, earlier ones are probably not as much, I don't know. Mm. I'm not a John Wayne expert, so yeah, somebody... Me, me neither, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing slightly better here. Mm. Man, this is not... You know what would be nice if this guy could sell me? A fucking gun, gun that, that shoots, shoots down. down. Oh, give me the horse. Usually when they get underneath you, it's your fault that you let them get down there, but they're coming from the bottom. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I think this is just a lost cause here. This... All right. Well, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the the thing where you know you can't shoot down. I think it's just tough. You have to basically be able to avoid the enemies. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are coming from the bottom, but they're almost like the enemies are projectiles <laughs> because they're they're coming and you have to just move out of the way of them as as though they are. Yeah, a, a, a bullet, and then once you can get under them, then you can shoot them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's a little crazy because in um, in Contra Super C, mm -hmm. on the top down levels, you can turn around, and you can yeah shoot shoot the dudes, which mm -hmm. is like you can shoot in every direction. You can shoot shoot in a complete circle. Yeah, and you know that's my idea of perfection. This this is not. <laughs> yeah, this game's this game's tough. Uh, but uh, I don't think it's much longer than this. I, I think there was only a couple more stages. But um, yeah, the game definitely ramps up in difficulty once you get to that stage. Mm -hmm. But pretty crazy. All right, thanks for watching.